Hello everybody. Hello. <laughs> Got a couple of couple of people joining. This is my first live Facebook video. Just testing it out. I've normally done my my uh, videos pre-recorded, but I've noticed some people were doing this live stuff and I thought I'd give it a try. <laughs> um, so I just uh, wanted to interact with my friends on Facebook. If anyone, um, <laughs> hey Graham, <laughs> if anyone wanted to uh, ask any questions, have any any comments, I'm trying to post as many things as possible with my short, uh, you know, with my short amount of free time with my kids. I. Uh, I do have a topic to discuss if nobody has any questions. Um, I, I wanted to discuss about... <laughs> get a PC versus... <laughs> Dave, I have a computer! It just sucks. That's it. <laughs> so... <laughs> it's uh, freezing over here, up here in uh, New York. Um, but yeah, so one topic I wanted to discuss was um, the idea of failure. How important failure is in all of our lives um, and how that is instrumental in improving our lives and it is instrumental in improving business. You know, it's, I think that's the, one of the foundations of free, markets, free market capitalism is um, the idea that only the best and most efficient businesses will thrive and succeed. And it is not, it's not natural, it is not necessary, it is, it is thoroughly destructive to try to convey the idea that all businesses should be equal or that all businesses are equal. I think that um, we do an enormous disservice to the market economy when we try to um, when we try to convey these things, this is this is definitely not the case. We are all born um, with different strengths, weaknesses, um, handicaps, talents, skills, and we can definitely improve our skill set, learn new things, read books, take courses, and um, improve ourselves in that way. Um, so you know we are all born unequal. Right there, there is, you know, uh, you know, this idea of, of forced equality, <laughs> as it stands to socialism, is uh, is a thoroughly um, erroneous and destructive one. Right. Um, so again, there's a big difference between recognizing that we're all unequal, that we're all unequal, or treating people unequally. Right. You can treat a, a person, a fellow human being, that has the same natural rights of self-ownership, property rights, um, as everyone else, but at the same time recognize that we're all unique. We all have different strengths and weaknesses and we can work together through collaboration, through trade, through um, interacting in the market economy and in that way make our lives infinitely more wealthy and um, and increase the standard of living of all of us. So, so the idea, you know, failure, you know, talking about um, capitalism, you know, talking about the bailouts, and you know, if a business, if a business is failing, what does that mean, right? Um, yes, exactly, Graham. <laughs> exactly. Um, so when a business fails, basically what that means is they're inefficiently using the resources at their disposal, right? Um, and people are not willing to patronize or purchase their, their, their goods and services. And so the inefficient use of resources by their failure will be dispersed and redirected towards other more efficient resources, right? Because we do live in, um, in a world of scarce resources and infinite desires. And I think that is that is a fundamental idea 
of, of, um, of free market capitalism is recognizing that in a sense there will always be conflict over scarce resources, right? You know, at the same time, you know, I was actually d discussing a related topic which, which was um, intellectual property uh, this past weekend with a friend, or, or last week, and, and one of the reasons why intellectual property is not a serious issue or, or, or a serious problem is because thoughts or words or ideas are not scarce. <laughs> They're not scarce resources. So there's no way to claim ownership over non-scarce resources. It is an impossibility. It is a, uh, it is a fool's wish. Um, so, so yeah, so, so resources in the real world that are scarce must necessarily be divvied up according to how people can most efficiently use them or perhaps homesteading or perhaps first user, you know, different things like that. But the idea of failure of, of one business failing, um, perhaps it may be unfortunate for that particular business, but in general, it is actually beneficial because it frees up those resources that have been inefficiently used and disperses them and is acquired by other perhaps entrepreneurs who are willing to take on the risk of purchasing those resources and trying their hand at putting them to good use. So, um, you know, it's a wonderful thing. And, and over time, human beings have been transforming the resources of the planet, the scarce resources, in such a way that now, you know, close to 8 billion people are able to live in sufficient comfort. Sure, there's still poverty, sure, there's still suffering, sure, there's still privation, but the idea that nearly 8 billion people can live pretty comfortably is a beautiful thing. And it's something that, that, that we should recognize um, as being one of the crowning achievements of trade and free market capitalism, right? The, the idea that through our intellect, through our, through our mind, through our creativity and imagination, we're able to transform these, these resources to, into something usable that can increase the standard of living of all of us um, is an amazing thing. And it's, it's testament to the, the hardiness, the perseverance, the dedication of human beings to improve uh, their lives and that of their brothers and sisters. So, so failure, just as in nature, failure is all around us. Death is all around us. Suffering is all around us. But it's always, it always follows. It is always followed by birth, regrowth, and new life, new shoots. So, it's something that is fundamentally necessary. And when it is attempted to be circumvented through such things as subsidized um, subsidi subsidization of certain businesses or bailouts, artificially propping up businesses because they have political ties is, is a very um, thoroughly destructive idea and, um, and will always you know, wreak, wreak havoc for future generations. It's kind of like putting a Band-Aid on a tumor. <laughs> You're not solving the problem, or as as Stefan would like to say, um, you know, taking some uh, some morphine or or cocaine maybe for uh, a toothache. <laughs> you didn't solve the problem, all right. You know, the 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 idea is always to um, get to the root of the problem, right? So failure is fundamental for a thriving economy, and is not something that we should shy away from. Rather, it is something that we should embrace and cherish. And so I hope all of you um, can, we all learn from our mistakes. We all um, have lessons that we acquire through our, the errors and the wrong paths that we've pursued in life. And it only makes us stronger, more resilient, and more wise individuals. And so... I think it's a wonderful thing. <laughs> so, um, thanks a lot, guys. Um, let's see, uh, Adrian. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah. <laughs> Jim says, were you spanked? Well, my, uh, my, my upbringing was, was uh, I'd say, you know, not, not the most peaceful, but, but still, I, I think, um, much better than most. And I, and, you know, as parents, I think as a separate issue, I guess we can discuss, um, we have to improve upon how we were raised and previous generations. So I think that's the duty of all parents, but, but, um, uh, if you guys have, uh, no more questions. Uh, that's all I, I had for today. So, yes, exactly, Jason. <laughs> Stop hacking at the branches. <laughs> that's the idea. That's the idea of medicine, and that's the idea of thoroughly destructive ideas such as statism. And I'm, I'm grateful for all you volunteers and anarchists out there who are doing beautiful things uh, towards this goal. <laughs> hey, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> so um been been great talking to you guys i uh, i look forward to do the next live video so i'll uh i'll catch you guys later enjoy the woods